Yeah. So again, the final question is, one of the million dollar questions in Islam is, why did naked people ride Rasulullah? Naked people riding Rasulullah until sunrise? No way. Yes way. Let me give you the article, guys, because this hadith that we are going to read for you, this is the only translation that I found on the internet. So bookmark it, save it. Because Muslims won't dare to translate such hadiths about their Rasul. The hadiths that are too embarrassing, you won't find it translated. Right? In Musnad Ahmad, we find the following hadith. And of course, it's very, very sahih, brother. It's not daif, it's sahih. And I'm going to prove it. In Musnad Ahmad, for example, there are many books. We find the following hadith reported by such and such, such, and, 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 from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Can you tell me who Abdullah ibn Mas'ud is? Anyone can tell me in the live chat who Abdullah bin Mas'ud is? He is one of the guys who used to write Quran. And not only that, he was the number one guy to go to, according to Muhammad. Remember, Muhammad said, go to four people. One of them was Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. He started with him. Another guy was Ubay ibn Kaab. If you want to learn the Quran, go to four. Right? I mentioned two of them. You can find that hadith on Sahih al-Bukhari. Right? Muhammad said, go to four. So he was a Quran writer and he knew the Quran inside out. So guys, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, let us go back. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud is one of the four that Muhammad told you to go to as a Muslim regarding the recitation of the Quran. Look what he said. Look what Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said. Guys, let us focus. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wanted me to join him. So we went on our way until we came to a place called Kaza wa Kaza. Meaning to a such and such place. The words Kaza and Kaza means such and such. Right? Kaza wa Kaza. Meaning he refused to mention the name of the place. Yeah. So the, uh, the, the place is unknown. So he planned... Muhammad planned for that, I should stay a little behind. So Muhammad ordered Abdullah ibn Mas'ud guys to stay behind and keep a distance from that place that Muhammad was about to enter. Keep a distance, oh Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Muhammad is saying, stay away brother, don't come any closer. As if I did not, I will be killed. So if, if, I, won't, if I won't listen to Muhammad and I will continue walking to that place that Muhammad was going to, I will die. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud is confirming, right? That's what he's saying. And that's exactly what I did. So Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, one of the Sahabis of Muhammad, he stayed behind. One of the companions stayed behind. Then Rasulullah, Muhammad, went ahead and had a small distance. And he, Muhammad, mentioned that. Now here comes the Jews, guys. Here comes the meat. Are you ready? I hope you are ready. There are a group of people... There are a group of people, and then Afan confirmed the following description of those people. The Zut, if we go to the Arabic, uh, those people are gold, are called what? The Zut. Zut means black Indian looking people, right? Basically. There are black people, but they are not really uh, looking like black people from India, more like, uh, sorry, from Africa, more like Indian black kind of people, right? Those are called the Zut. They came, what did they do? And they are naked, they are naked, and you cannot see their genitals, but they are naked, brother. Naked people came, and then what did they do according to Abdullah? Abdullah said, they came and kept riding Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and, and Muhammad kept reading over them the Quran. What? Irkab, irkab, ya mahboob. Irkab, irkab. Rasulullah is you too. Brother, keep riding, brother. Keep riding, Rasulullah. All night long, all night long. 
Keep riding, brother. Keep riding. Keep, keep, keep riding. <laughs> keep riding. That's what. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now here is the one million dollar question, ya Muslimi. Why are naked people riding your Rasul Allah the whole night until sunshine? Why is that? Look, it say, look what it says. Then Abdullah continues to say, them also came to me and rotate around me and stay in my way. So I was so terrified, Abdullah is saying, that them, so I sat down until the first light of sunrise when they left. That's a bit, you know, I think this is a Google Translate or something. But you get the idea. Then Rasulullah came f feeling heaviness and pain. Why is Muhammad having pain? Well, because obviously those naked black Indian look-alike people raped Rasulullah. That's why he is having pain. Muhammad is saying, I am having pain. Because they were riding him. Oh boy. The raped prophet of Islam, brother. Pain where? It must be his buttocks, right? I mean, they raped him. Naked people are riding him. And why are naked people riding Rasulullah? For the people who will say, dare to say, brother, this is life. No, it's, it's sahih. Chain of narration is sahih. Right? The same hadith you can find in the Turmuzi. Many, many. Look. Look what it says here in the Arabic. Isnado sahih. You see it? Isnado sahih means it's very, very authentic hadith. Naked people riding Rasulullah, the written prophet of Islam. Rasul al Markub. And guys, this is not the only place that we can find this hadith. Look, here is a book by Al Darqutni. The writer of this book called Al Darqutni, very big Imam in Islam. In his Atraf al Gharaib wa al Afrad min Hadith Rasulullah, Volume 4. In this book, this is the book, right, guys? This is a physical book. This is the cover. If you go to page 100, look, page 100, the dots in Arabic, guys, are zeros. So page 100, we scroll down. Same hadith, right? Azut. Yeah, you see, the, the, if you know Arabic, you can find it. This is the same hadith that we read for you in the translation. Here it says, Isnadahu Sahih. Chain of narration is Sahih. What? Brother, it's Sahih? Yes, brother. The Zut are writing Rasulullah? Yes, brother. So this is the, again, this is the title of the book. And this is the Imam who wrote this book, volume four. We can also find it in Ibn Kathir. Ibn, the Ibn Kathir. Yeah, that guy who, who, gave, in his, who gave the tafsir for the Quran. That Ibn Kathir. In his book called Jam al-Masanid was Sunan in volume 26. Volume 26 by Ibn Kathir on page 7526. Page 7000 in Arabic, 526. We scroll down. We can see Azzot here in the Arabic. They are like the Azzot. They are Indian black people. Indian naked black people riding Rasulullah. We scroll down. We see chain is not of narration sahih. It's not of sahih. In the footnote. Guys, this is the footnote of the page. The Isnad. It's not, the chain is sahih. Any Muhammadan who dare to say it's daif, I challenge you to, to, to lie to us, to lie in my face on my live show. Call me so I can embarrass you and your prophet. Oh, it's not daif. Shame on you for lying. Here in Majma' al-Zawaid, Wa al-Fawaid, in again the book called Majma' al-Zawaid, Wa Manba' al-Fawaid, volume 8, by Imam al-Hafiz, Hafiz means someone who actually memorized the Quran. Hafiz, someone who memorized the Quran. Al Haythami, a giant also, a giant scholar in Islam. In his book, in volume 8, and we go to page 334, 334 in the Arabic, we scroll down. And the men in the chain are the men of a Sahih, like in Bukhari and Muslim. So the people in the chain of narration, in the Isnad, the chain. The Isnad, the people in there are of a Sahih. Sahih hadith, brother. So, 
Why, again, why, oh, why is Muhammad being ridden like a donkey, like a bicycle, by naked Indian look-alike men called the Zut? A link, here's the link again. Scroll down, guys, in the basically last part of the page. You'll find this hadith. And here's the translation, right? This is not my translation, but it's a you know, close translation, you can say. Naked people riding Rasul Allah until the sunrise. So go to that part, all right? And there are many stories, Muhammad kissing the people, uh, you know, men on their side. Muhammad had many bisexual encounters with men. And this is one of them. This is only one example. There are many. People riding Rasulullah from the back, Muhammad riding uh, people from the back, kissing their bellies and kissing their naked sides. Muhammad loved men and women. He was a bisexual. Yes, un until sunrise. Look, it says until sunrise. All right? So they kept riding him the whole night. All night long. All night long. I mean, Lion Richie would be proud. Lion Richie would be proud. And we showed you, right, from Ibn Kathir. We showed you from at least three different sources that the chain is sahih. Chain is sahih. Ibn Kathir's book, right? Ibn Kathir, Jam al Masanid was Sunan by Ibn Kathir, volume 26. Sahih. So again, why naked people are riding Rasulullah, ya Muslim? I demand an answer for my question. And why you Muslims are too embarrassed to translate it? Why do Christians like me need to translate or give translation? Why? Why are you too embarrassed that your prophet was raped? By Indian look-alike naked people riding him all night long. Why are you too embarrassed to mention this in your translations? Because more than 80% of the Muslim population on this planet, they don't know Arabic. They can read Arabic and understand Arabic. So why are you Arabic-speaking Muslims? Why are you not translating these books? So that the Muslims on this planet know that Muhammad was... Ridden like a donkey. They used to ride Muhammad like a donkey. Like a bicycle, brother. Alright? Yeah, Gerard Bota, exactly. Could be. I think Muhammad... I truly, if we have to take a conclusion, reading after those hadiths, we have to conclude that Muhammad was a bisexual. Yes, you heard it correctly. We have to conclude that. Muhammad had many sexual activities with men too, not only women. Right? 